Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22,000 What I can tell you about this build is that this build is a major build for the beta channel that has a lot of new features. And well, if you want to see all these new features and how to enable some of them that are hidden, stay in this video because I'll show you all that. If you enjoy videos like these, where we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before going into the new features, don't forget that in the article below in the video's description, the first link, you'll have more info about what is Microsoft doing with the beta channel because you will see that there are two different builds, one with the features turned off and one with the features enabled. More info about that as I've said in the article below. First of all, a new feature is that we can access Windows Studio effects from quick settings. So Windows Studio effects can now be accessed directly from quick settings on the taskbar for devices that have a supported neural processing unit, of course, and this makes it quick and easy to enable and configure camera effects, background blur, eye contact, and automatic framing, and also audio effects. And of course, you can still access these effects in the settings pages if desired. If you have this technology on your computer or laptop, you're gonna have a command for Vive tool in the article below that will help you enable it. Microsoft is also beginning to roll out energy recommendations under settings, system, power and battery, and energy recommendations. You can review and apply these recommendations to improve the energy efficiency of your PC and reduce your carbon footprint. This is only enrolled to a few insiders, but yet again, if you want to manually enable this, we're gonna have a Vive tool command in the article below in the video's description to enable it. And here, you can apply different energy recommendations. For example, turn off my screen after three minutes, put my device to sleep after three minutes, turn off my screen saver, turn on dark mode, and you can apply them individually or apply them all. Also, expanded view in widgets is coming to this beta channel build. You will be able to enable this manually of course again using Vive tool I don't have it enabled on this computer but what I can tell you is that this could be a little bit buggy so before enabling this keep that in mind basically you'll have the widgets set to full screen and that can be interesting also as you can see Microsoft is also implementing the new widgets UI to the beta channel we have here an example of the new UI that looks really interesting in my opinion and this is also rolling out to some insiders and this cannot be enabled 100% manually you'll have a command in the article below in the videos description, but you'll just have to wait a few days where this will be enabled on your computer. Another new interesting thing in this beta channel build is that we have a search box for the task manager. As you can see, we have a search box that will help us search for a name, a publisher, or a PID. For example, if I search for explorer.exe, I will be able to locate that process really easily. This is really nice. This is also a hidden feature, and the command to enable this will be in the article below in the video's description. In the start menu, we also have the start menu menu account badging. This is again hidden. The command will be in the article below in the video's description. As you can see, we have this enabled and basically you'll be notified when you can do certain stuff on your computer. For example, in my case, they recommend me to back up my files. And we also have the new widget settings in this beta channel build. I forgot to mention it. This is a little bit bugged because you only have one setting that appears, basically open widgets at board on hover, the most important setting. That's good. And again, for this, you're going to have a five tool command that will allow you to enable this if you want to have it on your computer. Also in this build, the ability to rearrange icons in the new system tray is available on this build. That is really nice and um, it has nice little animations and a nice design. Another addition to this build is that this build includes support for the use of clipboard history Windows Plus V on password fields. This will be really useful in my opinion and you can use basically clipboard history for passwords. Also another addition, Microsoft switched the touch keyboard icon option on your settings and personalization taskbar from being a toggle to now being a drop down where you can select never, always, or when no keyboard attached. Another good thing in my opinion. These are all the new features in the beta channel. I think there are a lot of features and everything is quite interesting. As I've said, we're going to have commands in the article below in the description to enable all of the new features that are hidden or rolled out to a few insiders. Now let's talk about some fixes. Microsoft is implementing some fixes for the taskbar and system tray. They fixed a few explorer.exe crashes related to the recent taskbar and system tray work pin slash unpin visual will now display when dragging system tray icons to any position along the system tray and not only when hovering over the show hidden icons button as you can see here this is the new animation they fixed the issue where certain chat apps that supported it weren't flashing with new messages or opening a preview on the hover in the system tray the show hidden icons flyout in the system tray should now responsibly resize with changes again to prevent empty spaces and columns they fixed an issue that could result in the show hidden icons flyout appearing disconnected from the taskbar in certain cases 
they fixed an issue that was causing the volume icon the system tray to incorrectly show as muted, and they fixed an issue where invoking the context menu for items in the system tray might not put the context menu in the foreground and it would get stuck behind the taskbar. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft did some work to help improve the performance of deleting files via file explorer when emptying the recycle bin or using shift plus delete in the case where there are a large number of files being deleted at once. And the final fix, they fix an issue that affects a modern applications that stops them from opening. So basically, this is the build for the better channel 2006 to 3.885. You're going to have more info in the article below in the video's description in the first link about known issues if you're interested in that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.